Isn't it amazing? Every day at the same hour, meteorologists all over the world release hundreds of weather balloons just like this one to gather data. And on top of getting better local forecasts, they're pulling their data to monitor global climate change. If the meteorologists of the world can pool their efforts, surely trade officials, business leaders, and consumers can collectively help address the climate crisis. Global targets to limit the worst effects of climate change will require more ambitious actions across all areas of human activity. Including on how the global economy is run. Trade can and must be part of the solution. Trade is a booster for climate action. It facilitates the movement of environmental solutions across borders. Take solar panels, for example. They play a crucial role in the transition to renewable energy. Solar energy is increasingly competitive due to a drop in the price of the technology. The price of solar panels has gone down by 90% since 2010, and it's been found that these prices would have been substantially higher without global supply chains. Trade also allows to move goods from carbon-efficient producers to other places. If a country has plenty of sunshine, fertile soil, it might be better for the climate to trade in these lower carbon food products than rely on, for instance, greenhouses heated with fossil fuels. Very often, transporting food causes significantly less emissions than producing it. We need to help developing economies and least developed countries identify their low carbon advantages and at the same time, make sure they get access to affordable renewable energy technologies. Trade helps us adapt to the effects of climate change. It has shown time and again, it helps us with the fast distribution of essential supplies in times of crisis. Enhanced cooperation among WTO members on trade-related climate measures can help limit the increases in global temperatures. The WTO offers the space for members to find the common, coherent trade policies we need. At a certain altitude, after the data collection is done, the balloons explode and the instruments parachute back to the ground. Any idea what we should do with the debris? Reuse, repurpose? Recycle.